Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup and I am Penge and welcome back to Rimworld where we continue the tale of our 12 colonists and their respectable amount of animals and just before we kick things off this video marks a very important moment in the life and times of the Geek Cupboard because this is part 69 of our Rimworld series which makes it officially the longest running series that we have had in the Geek Cupboard. So well done Rimworld, you are the longest running series, that is very exciting indeed. The previous longest series was Fallout 4 Explosives Only that finished on part 68. So the finale of the Explosives Only run for Fallout was part 68, but yes of course part 69 of Rimworld has eclipsed that and we're not even finished yet, we're nowhere near finished. So Rimworld is going to absolutely beat Fallout 4 Explosives Only in terms of series sort of you know part numbers and stuff. So yes it will certainly be the longest longest running series that we're going to have for quite some time. I mean it might take a little while for us to find another series that requires what probably over 70 parts to finish it off. So uh, yes well done Rimworld that's very very exciting indeed but of course we would not be at this point if it weren't for all of you splendid folks out there. There's so many people that have left comments and little tips and things like that that have just been helping out throughout all those parts throughout all the previous 68 parts and you know who you are and I'm not going to go through and name everybody because we could be here for a long time because lots and lots of people have helped out and contributed but yeah I think it's safe to say that if people hadn't helped we would not be here now I'm not entirely sure if I'd have done this completely on my own and ignored all the comments I we wouldn't be here that we would have all been dead all of our colonists would have been very very much dead I mean I don't know where we would have got to would we have got to double figures? <laughs> I do not know. But uh, but yes, there we go. And I have said this before, but this is as much your game as it is mine. Because, uh, because yeah, so many things that have been suggested in the comments have actually been implemented into the game. So thank you once again, everybody, for helping out and making RimWorld the longest running series in the Geek Cupboard. So bravo, round of applause for RimWorld. Well done, RimWorld. Um, so yes, we've still got a little way to go, a little way to go, but we're slowly getting there because last time out, we completed the ship. The ship is done. Here it is in all of its slightly rubbish looking glory. I mean, you know, it's not really a very good ship. It doesn't look brilliant, but reactor, engine, structural bits, sensory thing, computery bits, sleep pods, uh, it's all here. It's all here. Still not entirely sure which way the engines are facing, but it's fine. They're all facing the same way. The only thing is, if this one switches on and the stuff comes out the back, and yeah, this sort of, you know, the rocket power bit comes out of here, is it not just going to blast the reactor core into bits? I don't know. We'll, we'll hope that they're facing the right way. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if the game is going to be that sort of uh, the, yeah, that sort of punishing for getting the engines on the wrong way around. I do not know. But that was kind of a big thing that we did last time. That was a big thing, required quite a lot of stuff to get those engines in, and we have got them in, and we still have 144 plus steel left over, which is very welcome indeed. So now with this done, we could in theory switch the reactor on and then, you know, let all sorts of chaos happen, but that would be silly. That would be a silly way around of doing things. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and build up our defences because, yeah, we'll get slaughtered. If we just switch that on now, we would all be dead very, very quickly. So uh, we've been working on a few bits and bobs, so we're going to try and get armour. Try and get some marine armour, because we only have the one sort of set of it at the minute that Kathy is wearing. She's got the marine armour. So we're just going to go through, a, you know, spend a little bit of time in just improving our armour, improving our weapons, making sure we've got quite a lot of steel in place, making sure we've got enough food and such like around, just so we can make sure that when we're under siege, we don't have to go out and get loads of food and what have you. Also, we've started doing a bit of double walling over here, which is very, very nice indeed, just to make sure that yeah, it might deter the um, the baddies from coming in and trying to go through these walls if they know that they've got to go through two lots of walls and there's traps in there as well so if we could get say all of that bit across there double walled at least they're sort of going to come in either through here or through the top it gives us just a little bit of sort of extra protection there which is always very very welcome indeed um, and last time we did remove a bit of our old trap corridor the thing that has kept us safe for so long is now not quite what it was. Um, yeah, so this bit down here is gone and uh, the traps are gone from here. They have been sort of uh, shifted over here. And then we sort of set out where we're going to put the turrets and what have you over here as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we decided on that. There is a little bit of uh, a little bit of sort of uh, rejigging that we need to do because that one is ever so slightly too low and it really irritates me that it's not quite in the right place. So, uh, yeah, we'll try and move these things around a little bit. But that's the plan. 
That is the plan for the current trap corridor and the kill box that we're going to try and make. We might try and change this around a little bit. We might try and push some of these back or whatever. But yeah, we'll have a little look at that in due course. So, um, so yeah, the plan is we just need to kind of just keep cracking on and gathering resources, making ourselves some armor and all that kind of stuff, which is very welcome. One thing that we are going to need to work on is, um, is making sure that we have enough power. Because the plan is we're going to put turrets in here. So three big turrets here. One, two, three, four small turrets in these bits here. And then another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turrets in there as well. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 turrets are going to sit here and you know be in play, guarding us, hopefully, hopefully killing lots of people. Um, they're going to require quite a lot of power. And at the moment, I think we're okay for power. We're we're not too bad, but um, but yeah, we're we're gonna if we put those in, we will run out of power very very quickly. A few people in the comments have said that we should put a um, uh, what are, what are those things called again? Geothermal generator on this vent here. Now I think that's a bit of a terrible idea. I think that is a really terrible terrible idea because it's going to block the kill box. It's going to be a massive kind of big block just here because they're not little things. They're quite chunky things. Um, they're going to get damaged when we're shooting, unless we build them, you know, wall them in or something. But then there's walls for the baddies to hide behind and all that kind of stuff. Um, and and yeah, they're just at risk of being destroyed. I'd say we're not going to put a geothermal generator on there. I think that's that's a generally a, a, a bad idea. I think that's a bad idea. We're going to have to work on just getting lots more solar panels in, maybe getting some more wind turbines in as well, just in case it's night and we need lots of power and all that kind of stuff. We need some more batteries as well now, so we might construct a little room up here. We can chuck a load more batteries in. So, so yeah, we need to make sure we have enough power available as well to power up our defences. So how about... How about we get ourselves a room up here where we can just stick a few more batteries? That's probably no bad thing. Right, what have we got for materials? What can we build with? Um, sandstone blocks. We've got some marble blocks. I don't want to use the granite blocks. The granite blocks are going to be used for the walls. Um, sandstone blocks. That doesn't look like a lot of sandstone blocks, does it? It does not look like a lot of them. Hang on. We need 48. And um, that's 50 just to do that. Um... Okay, never mind. We'll put that there. We'll drop a door in. Oh, I don't know, just there will do. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah, can we go and get some other, get some other blocks? I mean, what's that? That's all sandstone in there. Can we just sort of start chopping some of this stuff out? Can we just hack some of that stuff apart? I mean, that's sort of okay, isn't it? Or is there some stuff we can go and grab that's relatively nearby? Is there any sandstone around that we could just go and pick up off of the ground? What's that? That's a limestone. There's quite a lot of that around. Hang on. Hang on. That's a big load of sandstone. Yeah, go and grab that. Go and grab all those. Oh, hang on. We, maybe we don't need those. Deselect those. No, don't haul those things. No, 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 no. Unhaul. Negative haul. Undo unhauling. There we go. Just go and grab those. I don't even know if we need that and that, to be fair. Grab that sort of pile of sandstone chunks there. And then, yes, that means we can take them in. Then we can get this bill. And then in here... We need to put in some batteries. I have not built a battery for a long time. I can't remember exactly what we need. Um, power and a battery. 70 steel, which is unfortunate, and two components. Don't care about the components, but steel is a bit of an issue. We want to keep as much steel as we can. And yeah, that's not going to help, is it? Okay, so battery, battery, and battery, and battery. We'll put four in for now, and we shall get that running through... Um, yeah, round like that. There we go. So the batteries should all be connected up. Do they need to be actually plugged straight in? Yeah, maybe they do. Hang on. Let's do that. Look, let's put that across the middle. There we go. So they can slowly start working on these things as they go. And they hopefully should be able to do that. And more. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> we have much in the way of hay grass. Well, hang on a minute. Don't sow that anymore. We don't need any more hay grass. <laughs> We've got too much of it as it is. We've got way too much of it as it is. And um, somebody said, can you um, can you only put hay grass into the kibble, which is paused? 46 out of 300. Why would that be? Hang on. Why is that paused? Why have we? Oh, no, not copy to the thing. Details. Why have we paused that? Pause when satisfied. 300. I must have paused that manually for some obscure reason. Um, yeah, so we can use hay. We can use hay to make kibble. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just say, yes, just use the hay. Use all of the hay. So it just needs 
one nutrition and one nutrition. But, but, but does that not make two nutrition? Two different nutritions, I think that means. So yeah, what do we want to? What do we want to allow? I mean, do we say don't use meat, or do we say don't use the veg and have meat and hay in these things? Yeah, don't put milk in it. We'll keep the milk for the for the peoples. Um, eggs, chicken eggs. No, keep the chicken eggs for the people as well. So mix hay and meat to make the kibble. That's absolutely fine. And we've got some meat right now. So we should be okay. We've got 20... Oh, a bit of fox meat and a bit of hair meat. How delicious. Um, okay, right. So that's, that's changed that around a bit. Um, and then, yeah, let's unpause that. I don't know why we paused that. I'm not entirely sure why. But there we go. We did. And uh, let's go and get some meat as well. I see there's a turkey over there. We'll go and grab a turkey. In fact wildlife get some turkeys is there anything else that's not going to put up a fight a hare and a rat that's all fine good shooting practice um and what else can we get i can't bring myself to kill donkeys it just seems wrong it seems morally bereft um muffalo let's go through and get a lot of muffalo meat there we go because there any there's a two percent chance of them getting a bit fighty which, you know, knowing us, it will happen. <laughs> they will get a bit fighty and they'll try and come and kill us. But there we go. That's absolutely fine. So get all that stuff done. So work on this, folks. We've got a little list of things to do now, putting power conduits down and getting batteries constructed and all that kind of stuff. So yes, that should keep you busy for a little while. Ah, the deep drill has ran out of, where is it down here? It's ran out of plasteel. Okay, right, so we need to allow it to then move it. Yeah, so we've exhausted the plasteel over there. Um, what was here again? I can't remember what was there. We could do with digging up some more steel, because plasteel, we need some more plasteel. That's fine, of course we do. We always need more plasteel. We need to make the armor and everything else, but we also do need a lot of steel. I imagine this big area just here is going to be a load of steel. I can't quite recall exactly, but if we put it there, we should be able to find out what it is as soon as somebody actually moves that thing over. And then we could then go to power. Oh, we're on power already. Um, and then we can deconstruct. Uh, no, we can't. I'll press the wrong button. There we go. We can deconstruct that and that to get us some resources back because we might as well deconstruct those power things while they're there. But I think... Um, oh yeah, it's quite late. It's one in the morning. So it, the farmer is the only one that's running around and doing some stuff. Did I switch the heaters back on? Uh, yes, I did. Hooray, the heaters are back on. Okay, fine. Um, okay, well, there we go. We've issued a list of things they need to do. Now we just need to give them some time to go and do it. Hang on a minute. Looking at this, would it not be more sensible for our, our kibble manufacturer to actually not use meat at all? Because because there's there's not that much meat, but we do have an awful lot of. Um, oh, can we not move that out of the way? Uh, we have an awful lot of corn because we got a load of corn from the field out there. So is it not worth just using great big loads of corn and great big loads of hay grass just to actually make the kibble that we need? I think that's what we might do. So don't use the meat on it. Keep the meat for our people, and then we'll have a go at this. So so yeah, where is that? So use that and use corn because we have 1,398 units of it. So yes, please use both of those things to make a great deal of kibble if you would be so kind. So Colonel's going to go and chop up some stuff. And I'm right. Yes. Hang on a minute. Colonel. Oh, hang on. I'll move out around the corner. There we go. And um, somebody in the comments said that Colonel might need a little bit of assistance with sight possibly. Um, so their left arm is a little bit kind of battered, but their right eye yeah, it has a mangled scar, which is not helping their sight. They're on 86% sight. That's not great. We could, we could get another bionic eye in place and give Colonel a bionic left, no, not left eye, a, a bionic left arm possibly, but a bionic right eye, just to sort that out. And it does cause a bit of pain as well. It causes, what's that? Plus, 3% pain and the arm also causes some pain. Yeah, you're in minor pain. Okay, let's get ourselves some eyes constructed. Let's get ourselves um, another bionic eye. Did we take bionic eye out of the bill? We must have done. Um, okay, so make a bionic eye, please. Yes, do that. And also, yeah, make a bionic arm as well. And we'll push those up a little bit. I want them to finish doing the marine armor first and then I want you to make the bionic eyes and such like and then get on with making components again please. So yeah do it in that order. So finish working on the armor that you started really 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 long time ago. 
<laughs> it started ages ago. Oh no, now you're just working on the bionic arm. And I thought it was a little bit quiet, but no, Rimworld has thrown a siege at us. So the demon vampires have come in. They want to do a siege. But do you know what? Two can play at that game, demon vampires. So we have ourselves our own mortar over here. So we can fire straight back at you guys when you decide to target us. Um, and I think... If we hit them, and if we cause an okay amount of damage, and it's aiming over there, because that's where they set up last time, but if we cause an okay amount of damage, I think they then stop doing the sieging, and they just come and attack us, don't they? I think that's what happens. So let's see. Who can who can have a go at this? Um, Redwind will not. Hull might have a go. Um, where are they going to set up? Yeah, we ours definitely won't have a go. We ours won't have a go. Um, who, I mean, who might like to have a go on the thing? Who might like to have some fun on the, um, on the mortar? Um, probably not Cunic. Cunic's a bit far away. Let's see where they're going to set up, actually. They're going to set up whereabouts? Over there. Okay, right. So who is now nearby? Um, let's get ourselves, everyone's just elsewhere at the moment. Kathy, Kathy, come here and have a go on the mortar, please. So do that. And I think... Uh, what have we got in terms of mortar shells? We've got two high explosives or 30 incendiary shells. Do you know what? I think we'll use incendiary shells. Thank you very much. Right, so Kathy, get over there. Right, hang on. Then we want to force a target. So let's pick someone, I don't know, in the middle right now. You. We'll just pick you because you're in the middle. Unlucky person. And then hopefully Kathy is going to get over there. Right, so the shot is going to come in. They're lining it up. And I think the shot has now been fired. So let's see. Where is it coming in? Here it is. Oh, it doesn't look great on target, but... Okay, it caused some damage. It caused one person to be on fire a bit. So DJ the chef is on fire, as is Trumpet. <laughs> They've got a person called Trumpet. Okay, right. So we've caused them some damage. Um, the next shot uh, could be coming in momentarily. I don't know. How long does it take? It takes 30 seconds or whatever. Uh, okay, no, here we go, here we go. Right, let's follow it. Again, it doesn't look like it's brilliantly on target. That's going to hit nothing, isn't it? That's just going to blow up over there near their fancy wall. Um, a steel barricade. That's a bit flash, isn't it? Oh, there's steel there. There is steel. If we can dismantle this, that is some steel that we can then use. That's very good. And of course, the mortars as well we can dismantle the mortars. That's going to be quite nice. Okay, well, another one of those things is going to come in momentarily. And... It hit over there. We're aiming kind of up here in the middle somewhere. Why are we... Oh, no. Are they now firing at us? Yeah, they're firing at us. This is bad. This is bad. And are they going to hit us? No, doubt they'll get straight on target or whatever. Yay, there you go. They've hit the wall. Well, of course they have. Right. We need those guys. We need to have a good shot. Kathy, your time is now. And... Do you know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. If they're in a crowd, it's going to be okay. Hit on the distance and boom. Okay. And they're assaulting the colony. Okay, this is wonderful. Right. So they're going to stop chucking uh, mortars at us. So now we need to get... Um, we need to get... Why is Cunic greyed out? Why are you greyed out? Are you hauling a dead muffalo? Um, we could do with everybody being ready for... Uh, can we select all of our colonists? We've got to do all that, have we? So all of you lot... Can we leave Farmer asleep? We might be able to leave Farmer asleep, possibly. Um, yeah, let's grab all of you lot. You can come over here. Oh, we can put them all in the <laughs> in the little in the little sort of uh, things we've made here. So Colonel say uh, there, and Cunic there, and then Beryl can go into there. <laughs> Max can go into there. And Ash can pop into that one, and Kathy can pop into that one. Um, and then Kirchin we could put in the door. Um, and then Hull maybe could just sort of lurk around over here just in case we need them. I'm hoping that the trap corridor does its job. Are they all coming down or is one of them manning the mortars? No, they're just leaving the mortars up there and coming down to attack us. Okay, that worked. There's a little bit of fire burning some of the things. Um, components up there. If it gets the high explosive shells, I imagine they will explode. But okay, we'll have to see what happens with that. Okay, right. How is everyone doing? Now, some of them are hurt, of course. Some of these people are already injured. All our people are lining up in our little sort of bays. Right. Some are going down. Then the traps are killing them. And boom, another one goes down. Another one bites the dust. And another one's gone. And another one's gone. And another one bites the dust. And they're all running away. <laughs> 
Of course they are. Okay. Well, there we go. That was that was relatively simple. One of them is still alive. Um, but yeah, they're, they're going. They're just straight out of there. Absolutely. Well, there you go. That was easy. That'll teach you, won't it? Don't come around here and cause problems. And we'll deconstruct those things. Um, we'll try and grab <laughs> what we can if this isn't going to explode, which I suspect it might. Um, and then can we deconstruct... Oh, we've got to select all of these individual wall sections. So deconstruct the wall that they made. So take that apart. We'll allow that. We'll allow... Oh, yeah, we'll deconstruct the mortars. We'll allow that as well. And it's raining. That's quite good for putting out these flames. That's very handy. Okay, so we've allowed all that. Right, there's going to be a load of things we need to allow in our trap corridor as well. And we can take everybody off of draft because there is no point in them being on draft mode anymore. And everyone can go back and do what it is they need to do. So there we go. Well done, folks. Well done. We have defended ourselves against another siege, which went very, very well. We do have, actually, hang on, hang on. What's wee hours doing? You're hauling some steel. That's important. You're hauling steel. Um, you're smelting weapons. You're cooking. Ash, do you do you um? Oh, you don't do hauling. I know Kathy doesn't. Farmer, you do hauling, don't you? Can you? Um, oh, that's reserved by Hull. Oh, okay. Hull is already on hauling the dead muffalo that Cunic had to leave behind. Splendid. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we don't want to leave it out because then it's going to go all mouldy and stuff. But there we go. Ah, we survived. We survived another attack. And I'm not going to get too cocky and confident about it because because we know Rimworld. It will no doubt see that and go, hang on a minute, he's gloating. Now we'll throw in some, you know, I don't know, murder squids or something from here. There'll just be giant tentacles crushing us. So I'll just I'll just say that that was quite good. We did okay. And now we can just sit back, hope for a little bit of peace and quiet, and then yeah, just get on with the things that we've issued out for them to get on with. And the bionic arm has been finished, which is marvellous. So then are we able to get the bionic eye in as well? And then we'll just get Colonel fitted with the arm and the eye at the same time. So they don't have to go into, you know, sedation twice and all that kind of stuff. I think they would just do both ops at exactly the same time, which is marvellous. So there we go. So good job. How long have we got to do on the eye? Oh, it's going to take a little while, isn't it? Uh, also, this room is looking pretty good. This room here with the rice, with the little sort of grow lamp in the middle thing. Yeah, that that's, that's looking really good. 84% grown already so that's even more food i mean we've got too much food really we're using the reserve room yes we are we're using the backup room uh, we've got loads of meat in there as well which is very very good <gasps> danny the chicken developed a heart condition oh no a heart condition a health condition a heart attack oh no you're down you've had a heart attack and it's painful apparently i can imagine oh no Oh, that's very sad. Who is going to go and help? Oh, one of the dogs has done it. Oh, well done. Oh, Clint. Clint is absolutely on it. Put her in little bed and hope that she can recover. Oh, Danny. Oh, dearie me. I mean, yeah, Danny's got a bad back and has now had a heart attack as well. Oh, dearie me. Okay, right. Well, there you go. Get well soon, Danny the chicken. And the bionic eye is complete. Okay, this is very good news. So, health. Yeah, so let's go into here. Let's make sure that Cunic can get a right eye and a left arm. Okay, right, hang on. Right, so add a bionic right eye. So bionic eye, right eye, and a left arm. So add a left arm. So bionic arm on the left shoulder. Yeah, so get both of those, please. An eye and an arm for Colonel. That should be quite good. Okay, so now we just need to wait just need to wait for her. There we go. Right, she's gone into the bed. And then we just need to wait for, I assume, we hours. Although, to be fair, who is it? Beryl? I can't, I can't remember. Who was actually quite good at the medical stuff? Yeah, Beryl would also be okay. Beryl would not be too bad at getting that done. I mean, she's coming to give us some food. Beryl is doing the op. Beryl is doing the op. We hours has delegated this job to Beryl. Okay, so what went on first? Okay, so the arm hopefully has gone on. And now the... I oh, know the eye has gone in and now the arm is going on, is it? Okay, that's good. And how is it looking? Are they both in? Bionic eye, bionic arm, and yeah, currently, so no pain. No pain, and that that's brilliant. Well done. And Colonel joins our list of people that are now sort of part bionic, which is wonderful. So welcome to a very, I was going to say it's very exclusive. It's not really, is it? Because it's like Cunic and various other people now, we hours. Lots of people have got bionic bits now. But there you go. Welcome to Bionic Club. The first rule of Bionic Club is you don't talk about Bionic Club, okay? 
And Colonel is back on her feet. Welcome back, Colonel. So, yeah, she's not quite sort of fully back with us yet. She's under the uh, sort of influence of the anaesthetic a little bit. And also she's a bit drunk, which uh, that's fine. That's OK. But there we go. They've been fitted. Her sight is now 104%. She has sight beyond sight. Uh, OK, but everything else looks pretty good. So there we go. Welcome back, Colonel. Somebody did make a very good point in the comments about the way in and the way out of the kill box. So currently, they come through the trap corridor, enter the kill box, there's a trap there that gets them by surprise, uh, and then they're kind of in the middle, and then the way into the main base is through this door down here. So they're going to have to go, oh, okay, right, the walk down here, and go, right, okay, there we go, splendid, I'll go through the door if they can get there. But of course, that means they're going to sort of go from here down to here. So everything up here might not get much of a look in. What they suggested was, is it not worth extending the uh, so trap corridor all the way down to the bottom, like we did have previously over here. So they come out here, we'll still stick a trap outside because that's quite funny, and then have the door up here. So they don't just go straight across the bottom. They then have to go, right, okay, I'm heading for the door. They walk through the middle of everything. So all the turrets firing at them, these turrets here, all of our people able to hit them as they walk along and then try and get up to here. I think that sounds like a very good idea. I like the idea of that. So we might make a few little, a few little minor alterations. So we'll deconstruct that there and then we'll get this sort of set up. Um, so yeah, so we need to change this around a little bit. So yeah, that's going to be moved. So we'll have to see how this is going to work. So let's have a look. So that's going to come down as well. So I have one, two, three, and a door. So one, two, three. So that's going to be where a door is. So deconstruct that. So one, two, three, door. Um, oh no, hang on. Hang on, what? No, one, two, three. Yeah, that's going to be where a door is. So uh, it's going to look like this. Hang on, surely. Oh no, it's not. No, look, because it's a bit here where it's a little bit different. We'll just mimic that maybe down here. That makes sense. Let's just do that, shall we? Hang on. So that definitely needs to go, but that does not. Cancel that. We'll just sort of mimic this over here. That's fine. So we'll get ourselves some doors in place. We'll have a door there and a door there and a door just there. And then we'll get ourselves build a copy of this wall. So build that in like that. There we go. In fact, you know what? Take that out. We don't need that door, do we? That's the whole point. They're supposed to come out from there. And then they can build a copy of that just there. Then move that Thing, reinstall that down to the bottom just there but of course they've all gone to bed because it's late I'll let them do that it's okay you can all go and have a little sleep it's okay but make this sort of job number one in the morning whilst they're all asleep maybe we should then move this around a bit as well so let's deconstruct that and then we've got a uranium auto door can we build a copy of that up there because that makes sense and then yeah fill this bit in fill that bit in on oh, there's who is it it's wee hours of course it's wee hours <laughs> The saviour of the colony, having a little bit of food out there as well. So an outdoor alfresco breakfast. Okay, so now we need you to start doing that bit up there. So remove that bit. Right, splendid. And then build a copy of that door there. And then take that door. Have we now deconstructed that? So deconstruct the auto door just there and fill that in. So fill that in, please. And then, yeah, we need to put doors in here. Uh, as was pointed out in the comments, I believe, somebody said, well, if you have holes, they're just going to try and walk through the holes. So we need doors in these gaps. So we can get that sorted as well, actually. So get that, put a copy, put that there, and then get that, 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 and that deconstructed. And we'll put doors into those places. Um, meanwhile, we need to do some more trap stuff. So we shall reinstall that trap there. And then we will make a copy. We'll put the wooden traps in for now. There, there, there. And one sticking out the front. Okay, that's fine. In fact, is that going to get them? We're going to need to put it there, possibly. Hang on, how's this going to work? Maybe we can't put a trap out the front because how we can't get through to, to rearm this trap properly without going across that one. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? That's unfortunate. We could put one just there. Or we could just we could just de deconstruct that and get some steel back. Let's do that. Um, is Kirchin, he normally drills for the steel. I've already got some steel. What have we got? 181, 211, yeah, so he is, yeah, I think Kirchin has been doing some steel mining over there. Good, well done, Kirchin. Okay, now how are we doing with this? An exotic goods trader, it's a ship. It's a ship passing by. Croc, your time is now. Um, where is our beacon thing? Um, a few people have been saying, oh, just build multiple of those beacons, but uh, they're sort of the trade beacons, but they require... Um, they require power and stuff like that. And we don't really necessarily need it 
yeah, we don't need lots of them. We can just move them around as we need to. So, um, so yeah, we'll go and call Fearful Securities is their name. Okay. Right. So, Croc, um, can we please buy all of your steel and all of your plast steel? That will be great. Thank you. Bye. Um, we'll have how many advanced components have we got? 26 regular components. We've got no advanced components. We do have quite a lot of money. Okay, what, what are they willing to buy? Sandstone sculptures. Oh, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Get rid of them. Loads of sandstone sculptures. Absolutely. You can have all those for a big pile of money. Um, and we've got five hyper weave. I mean, I, I don't really care. People probably go, no, keep it. Can we do anything with five hyper weave? I don't know. We'll keep it for now. Um, so there's quite a bit of plasteel. They've got 262. What if we bought 50 plasteel? How much is that? That means, oh, hang on. What if we bought all of it? That's quite a lot. And they do not have steel for sale, I notice. There is a bionic spine. That's exciting. And a triple rocket launcher. Yay. Um, we don't want any of these. What's a power claw? Combat-oriented hand replacement consisting of a mechanical hand with a hooked claw on each finger. It cuts deep and is strong enough to crush a skull like a hand crushes an egg. That can be retracted. Wolverine. We can make our people Wolverine. Its overall ungainless slows down movement slightly. A what? It, is is this good? <laughs> this it sounds good. What damage does it do? Thirty three percent and melee damage eleven. Okay, I need to look at other weapons. I need to look at other weapons to see if that's good or not. Um, I mean, it sounds quite good. It's relatively expensive though, but okay. And uh, they have got some neuro trainers, crafting and plants, not so bothered. If you had a shooting one or a melee one or even a medical one, I probably would have taken it, but um, alas, no. Um, okay, we've got 76 neutro amines. That should be all right for our, let's, let's buy another four, just make it up to 80, so that's fine. So we're gonna give them that. Do we want 262 plasteel right now? I'd rather save a bit of money and maybe get ourselves some steel from somewhere else that might come by later on. Let's go for that. Let's go for that little setup there. So that's fine. So we're going to get rid of loads of sandstone sculptures. Oh, is that what we've been making with the sandstone? Um, oh, that's really irritating. That's annoying. Is it all gone? Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. It's still... We've still got to go and pick it up. One thing I didn't really check was whether the auto door is powered. And it is, but only just. I would feel a little bit more comfortable if it were powered properly. So can we run a big kind of power thing across here? So run it through here. That's fine. Um, in fact, is they, are they going to trip over the power cables if we do that? How about we just have it going sort of along? Can we have that kind of going up like that? And then up there into the wall and then along and then down like that. I just feel a bit more comfortable if it was properly powered up. And it's got this as well. So it's got two links. So it can link to here. And if that's destroyed somehow, it can then, it can then, you know, it can link through to this route that we're going to put in. So there we go. Right. So the, the auto door is now done. They're putting the traps in. Okay. So our new trap corridor is sort of set up. We always is taking a bit of steel back to over there, which is wonderful. We've made the marine armor at long, long last. Now I wonder if anyone's going to run and get that. Is anyone going to go and put it on? Does anybody fancy wearing a bit of marine armour? I think Kirchen's putting it on. Yay! Okay, there's some unfinished marine armour. Why has Colonel just left it unfinished? Deteriorating because it's outdoors? Why is it outdoors? Hang on, what's happened to our door? Why don't we have a door? <laughs> Where did the door go? Okay, this is odd. Um, what can we build a new door out of? <laughs> Why don't we have a door? A uranium auto door? Why is the door gone? Why is the door gone? Um, okay, this is very odd, but we'll put one of the doors back in, which is a bit strange. Uh, and then we'll get ourselves wooden doors as well along here. So door, 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 and door. Yay, okay, lovely. Right, okay, get all that stuff done. And yeah, what? I don't know what happened there. Maybe it did, maybe that got destroyed in the, um, in the attack. Maybe that did get damaged and I just hadn't noticed. Okay, well, there we go. Well, now we've just got some unfinished marine armour that Colonel needs to actually get on with, which would be nice. Colonel, can we order you to go and finish this? Can we order you to go and do that? Prioritise fabricating things. Because if it's unfinished, you might as well just go and finish it off, Colonel. I don't know what the problem is. 
We have animal starvation going on. I'm not entirely sure why. They're not making any kibble. And I just tried to get Farmer to go and make some emergency kibble. And it said, there's no ingredients. So I've allowed hay. We've got 9,000 units of hay. And corn is allowed. We've got 1,398 units of that. I would have thought that we could mix that together. I mean, this isn't really very much help. One nutrition ingredients, one nutrition ingredients. I mean, that looks good to me. It looks fine to me, but maybe we do need to allow meat. What if we allow meat and then say, right, farmer, now go and do it. Oh, now you're not assigned to cooking, but the error message is different. Okay, that's fine. Um, is there anybody that's awake? No. Okay, we're going to have to wake somebody up. Um, hang on. Uh, who's Ash? Is that? Ash is, oh, Ash is a Marine. Who's a chef? One of you people's a chef. Who's a chef? Who was it? Beryl's a cook. Beryl, go and do some cooking, please. Just do a bit of making of kibble. We've got plenty of meat. We've got loads of meat. But now they're using the corn. Right, hang on, hang on. Right, now let's switch things round again. Don't use the corn. Take the corn out and use hay, please. So go and grab loads of hay. So let's see if you're going to do that. So you've got a bit of that. And you're going to go through and grab some hay. Because we've got just so much. <laughs> just so much hay. And then, yeah, make some kibble. Okay, fine, good. The trader has left comms range. Okay, lovely. Right, we need to think about where we can put in some um, some more power generating things. I'm thinking a couple more wind turbines might be quite nice and then get another block of solar panels down here. And again, it's going to cost us materials. It's going to cost us steel and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see if we can get in a wind turbine and just put it down here somewhere. So build a copy and we'll just drop it uh, there, that looks good. We'll pop one just there. And then we need to clear this area of things. So you, you and you, you all need to be gone. So chop. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, cut that. Oh, it's not It's not um, fully grown yet. Okay, fine. So cut those down. And then that will be another bit of, um, another bit of uh, power going into the network, which is very, very welcome. Um, and then, yeah, can we get another one next to it? I'm not entirely sure we can. Don't know if we can get another one next door. But never mind, it's not too big a thing. As long as we actually get this thing completed, that will be quite nice. And our 10 batteries are full, which is good. So I'm tempted to build a few more. Although, yeah, we've got any steel left at all? 171 steel. Oh, it's it's not very good, is it? 171 steel is, is sad. That's a rubbish amount of steel. Um, let's get ourselves another battery. We'll pop another battery just there and hope that, yeah, well, they'll be able to get it done, but then we're going to be really down on steel. But that's another battery storing lots of power for us, which is marvellous news. And then, yeah, if we can get, oh, that's done. Okay, so that's in, that's splendid. And then, yeah, if we can get another one in somewhere else, I mean, one next to it would be ideal. If not, then no worries. They get some more solar panels, and that should, if we combine it with one, two, what, three or four more batteries or whatever we could fit in there, that should be enough, hopefully, to power all of the turrets and things we want to put into here. Whenever that might be, whenever we're brave enough to put the turrets into there, then um, then yes, we hopefully should have enough power. I noticed that they've not been over here to pick up all of this lovely, lovely steel. There's loads of it. There's loads of steel over there, folks. So yeah, at some point, if you could make your way over there and go and bring it all back to the base, that's fine. I mean, I realize there's lots of other stuff going on. There's lots of things happening. I get that, but that's important. We need lots of steel. And it's just over here. It's just over here doing nothing at all. In fact, you know what? It's it's like the spoils of war. You you earned this steel. This is steel that you earned from you know defeating your enemies. So we should definitely go and get this. So I don't know if anyone's going to go and grab it right now. No, it does not look like it. Everyone is too busy doing something else. Maybe Hull is now going out there. Yeah, maybe Hull is going to go and grab a few bits and possibly Farmer as well. So there we go. So we're on that. That's quite good. I know you're grabbing the... Um, the, the thing over here, what are they, the sandstone chunks. That's okay, because that means we can finish this room off. Oh, that room's finished, hooray! Okay, well, there we go. Right, that's good. So we've got that room finished off, which is nice. So we'll have some spare blocks, just in case rooms take damage in fighting or whatever. Um, okay, right, good. Now, can we have more people going up here? No, you're still all just going to go and grab that. Once they're hauled, they'll probably start going to get them. So yeah, once we've got the, the blocks done, we can then go and grab ourselves more steel. Oh, there's going to be some visitors and winter has begun. Hello, visitors. A group from the Red Mega Scarabagador are visiting. Okay. 
Whereabouts are you? Hello. Um, you do have some stuff to trade. Okay, go and have a chat with Barracuda. Okay, fine. You go and do that. Um, I did have a thought. Um, this thing here, this this room here, the sun lamp here, is is growing all of our lovely Devil Strand, which is yeah, it's useful right now. But when we switch this thing on, we're not going to care about Devil Strand. I'm not going to care about it. That can all just go away. So um, what we might do is um, we'll just switch that off. We'll switch that lamp off, and that saves us 2,900 watts of power during the day, which is very handy. So if we look at security, I don't know how if we can find out what that uses a mini turret for power. Um, can we see what power it requires? Power consumption, 80 watts. Oh, crikey. Yeah, that thing's quite a drain. If that's taking 2,900 watts and one of the turrets takes 80, how much does a big turret take? How much does the uranium slug turret take? What power is that? 150 watts. Oh, okay. We're building all these extra things to generate power, whereas really <laughs> we could just stop growing Devil Strand. Uh, okay, right. Let's have a look then. So uh, we've got weapons to sell. We can sell them lots of weapons and various other bits and bobs. Um, do they have anything we want, however? It does not look like it. They're selling pemmican. They're selling herbal medicine and some stuff. Is that it? And some flak pants. Okay, right. So they're not really selling too much. And they've only got 64 money for us to actually uh, you know, get off them. Um, okay, let's give them that poor machine pistol. Uh, whatever. Just give them some of these rubbish things. Uh, what have we got? Uranium. Oh no, I want to keep the uranium mace. Hang on, who's not got the uranium mace? Oh, it was the one that we made for farmer, wasn't it? Um, a wooden club, a granite club, a marble club. Right, that's 17 still coming to us. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Okay, took a little bit of fiddling about with what we're selling to them. But if we do this, we get to take all of their money. So everything they have on them, the 64 silver they've got, uh, we are going to get that. And we're just going to give them, we're going to give them two machine pistols here that we don't really care about. And then these things up here and then whatever else we give them. What else did we give them? Oh, that was it. It's just these things here. So that's it. We don't really care about anything else. So yeah, absolutely. Accept that. We'll get rid of some things on those people. And then, yeah, we'll get ourselves a tiny amount of silver. But yeah, it's silver that we didn't have before. And then when somebody else comes by, we can use it to hopefully buy a load of steel, which might help us greatly. Although, yes, we are digging up steel. Got another chunk of 45 steel over there. And we still have yet to go and get that steel from there. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. What is that? A guinea pig. <laughs> Oh, there's a little guinea pig in the game. Oh, that's very exciting. There's a guinea pig. That must be, they put them in. They're, they're new. They must be a new thing. I've probably seen them on the on the list when we have to sort of allow or forbid the animals or whatever. Oh, there we go. That's exciting. Oh, there we go. They've got guinea pigs now. Splendid. I think what we'll do is with the Devil Strand room, we shall make sure they do not re-sew the Devil Strand. So once that's done, it's done. I mean, these ones are quite big. That's what, that's 92%, that's 81%, that's 81%. So yeah, it's it, they're sort of there or thereabouts. So when all the Devil Strand is done, that's it. We're not going to grow any more. And then when it is all harvested and all out of there, then um, then yeah, we can start deconstructing all the bits and bobs in this room. So the light can go, and as well as saving us power, that'll get some resources back. The heater can go, even this vent thing can go, because yeah, we don't really need that anymore. That'll get some steel back as well, which is very useful. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll slowly, slowly just sort of, you know, deconstruct everything in this room, get the resources, and then we'll just, we'll just leave the room there, I think. We'll just leave it as an empty room, I suppose. It doesn't really make any difference, does it? We could just, I don't know, if, if it comes to it, we could always hide in here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could just build like a big load of sandbags across that side. Uh, you know, just here. And then if it does come to it, if the worst comes to the worst and people are in our base, we can always retreat to here, line it behind the sandbags and just have like a last gas sort of desperate kind of defence in this room. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just sort of, yeah, use it for that purpose. But yeah, the Devil Strand can go. It can go. In fact, did they just harvest that while I was chatting when I didn't notice? I don't know, but there we go. So um, so yeah, they're not putting the Devil Strand back in. So yeah, in the long run, that will get us resources back and power. And that's a good thing. And I think we shall leave it there for now because we've done quite a lot of stuff. I mean, we are slowly but surely building up to switching this thing on and having the big fight. But, uh, but yeah, we're still a little bit underprepared. We still need lots of steel. I mean, we haven't built all of these things yet. So we could do with putting the turrets in place. That might help, actually, so we can see our actual real sort of uh, quota of steel. So we need to keep digging it up from over here. Kirchen's doing a good job. We still do need to go and grab all of that steel from up there because that will help us out quite 
quite a lot as well. And then, yeah, we could do with getting a few more suits of armor as well, because, um, because yeah, Kirchen's got his and Kathy's got her marine armor. But yeah, we still could do with some people having some more or yeah, at least just getting sort of proper like flak armor and all that kind of stuff. So you have, I think everyone else is wearing flak things. What have you got on? You're, you're just wearing a jacket. Cuny doesn't care. Cuny's like, defense? Nah, I'll be fine. I'm just wearing a jacket. I'm wearing a blue jacket. Thank you very much. So yeah, maybe we need to get some better armor in play as well, just to make sure that people you know, don't die from you know, wearing blue jackets rather than something that can keep them from being shot and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's still work to do. Still work to do. And we still need to finish this thing off over here. But yeah, we're getting ever closer. We are getting ever closer to the moment where we're going to switch this thing on and then sit back and let all sorts of nonsense and shenanigans happen. And um, and yeah, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit fearful of switching that on because because, yeah, it's it's going to be terrible. There's going to be waves of enemies just crashing against the walls and doing all sorts of terrible things. But yeah, we're going to have to do it at some point. But we shall do it when we are better prepared. And we shall continue preparing ourselves next time out. But we'll finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in RimWorld. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's hard. But this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. Who's examining who? <laughs>